Hey everybody, Aaron here. So first and foremost, let me apologize guys and girls. Um, the audio is probably not going to sound that great. Uh, I'm not using my headset for this only because I have to maneuver around so much with this whole video that I really can't rely on having my headset, my headset even with my longer one. It's not enough room for me to do this and the space I'm doing this in right now. Um, so the audio is probably going to get a lot of background noise and stuff like that. I do apologize for that. I hate to do that to you all, but yeah, it's the kind of unfortunate thing about using your cell phone to, to record this. But anyways, I want to do this this whole video. It's everything from the month of September, including October up to 15th today, obviously, Sunday, as well as the convention of New York City Comic Con 2017 I went to and all that stuff. I'm gonna start with most of that stuff. Um, there is no order to this. I'm not gonna be like, oh, manga first. And, no, this is just whatever I can reach because I have that much stuff, guys and girls. You have no idea. Um, and you're gonna understand, this is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna try to do this all in one part, but you know, it's gonna be what it is. So uh, let's get started with this. So the first thing I got was the Ancient Magus Bride tote bag. I got this at Comic-Con, obviously. Um, this is if you're a subscriber, so you pay their monthly fee, you can obviously get this uh, if you go to the booth. They had several other series. I forgot top of my head what the other series were. I'm sorry about that. But this thing was a lifesaver because this thing carried everything I had during the convention the first day. I mean, I didn't use this for the second day, but this thing was, woo. It's really nice, by the way. Like, look at the, the art of her. It's really nice. I like it. And it's good material. It's not, you know, it's not too shoddy. I, I, the one thing I know is sometimes these straps can break on some of the people's uh, tote bags, but other than that, it's not too bad. All right, next up is another free item. By the way, if you can hear my, my chair squeak, I'm sorry about that. That is my chair squeaking. So I got this as a free thing. It was little Edgar Getsuko, Suko, I think is, is how it is. It's like, it's a cute red panda. He's an office associate. And it's a girl, look, aw, and then, ah, oh, so angry, Oh, unsympathetic bosses, I, I think this is so cute, I got this at one of the boots for, uh, I guess this upcoming type thing, I have actually no idea what this is for, but they gave it to Death for and I'm like, oh, this thing's adorable, so I had to, I had to get it, alright, uh, this came from my Thursday, uh, thing when I went to the, hall, uh, to the convention, I got a Miku, uh, model, this was $20, I actually built this myself, it's not, perfect mind you I, like I had some of the uh, some of the, like, the stickers not perfect if you actually look at the stickers it's like yeah it's close I mean it's hard to tell at first but if you get really close you can see like this the minor mistakes I made here and there but this thing's not bad for $20 it's really good quality it, it doesn't fall apart I noticed it's it's actually really nice I got this from um, one of the ones that sell all like the, the Gundam model kits and everything else too so it was like a, a actual Bandai licensed thing over there which is really cool so I enjoyed this this is only $20 so I think it was worth it to me and it was fun to build this I, I actually forgot how much fun it is to build model all right I really feel bad you guys are hearing the, the background noise by the way uh, this is one of the posters you guys probably already saw on Twitter when I, I put up the posters but what I'll do is I'll put an image of the other posters I got I got this from one of the artists in the artist alley uh, this is the p5 protagonist I also got one of Futaba, which you probably will see. I'll, I'll put it in somewhere in the video, so probably near the end. Because, uh, you know, actually I'll probably put it in, in a couple seconds. I'll probably put it in. But but yeah, this is this was this was cool. This was um for her artist. Alley, she had it where it was. I think each one you get is twenty dollars. Uh, if you get two of them, you get one for free. So I got him uh, Futaba, and also got one for Near Automata, which is really cool. All right, uh, another poster I got, which I'm very upset about because it got very damaged on the way to well, the way home back from Comic Con the first day. I got this awesome Ruby poster, and I love this thing. But you can see on certain parts of it, it got damaged. It's not, it might not be noticeable on camera per se. It's just you can see in some of the faces, like some of the, the scuff marks and stuff. Yeah, you can see it right there. It really sucks that this guy damaged, but I mean, for the most part, it's not too too bent up. I'm gonna hang it up probably sooner than later. Uh, I just wish it didn't get scuffed like that. I don't know how that happened, but this was uh, twenty dollars by the way at the Ruby at the excuse me Rooster Teeth booth. It's really cool. I love it. It's signed also at the bottom, but I'm not gonna be able to show it to you because I have to get, get, get all the way up for it. Alright, uh, final piece of art besides what I probably showed you guys already 
is this thing that I got from um, one of the, the vendors over there. I forgot the guy's name and I apologize. It was like a husband and wife, I think. Um, this thing is awesome. This was, this thing caught my eye. It wasn't at the artist alley. It was actually in the main area, but look how nice this thing is. Like the art is so fantastic. It's like a samurai. You can read at the top left where it says his glory covered the heavens and his praise filled the earth. It's a prayer. It's actually really nice. This was $25. I think this is worth it for $25. It's really nice. It's hard material too. It's, I'm not, I don't even want to take it out of this thing to be honest with you. All right, next up. This I did not get the goods. I got this at Barnes and Nobles. People are gonna flip out on me. I got Bananya. Look, little, little keychain thing of Bananya. I love Bananya. Look how cute it is. Look at how cute it is. Look at it. It's so adorable. I love it. It was $10. I know people are gonna flip out. It's like $10. You spent $10. Yeah, I spent $10 on this. I love Bananya. Bananya is adorable to me. So deal with it, people. Spent $10 on it. Sorry. Anyways, moving on. I got another free thing to show you all. I got this little. He's a little ghost person. Oh, he's like a squeeze. He's like one of those stress ball type things, but you can squeeze him. It's got the little advertiser in the back. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Ghostery.com. I have no idea who they are, what they are about. I hate to say it, but they would just give these out for free, and I'm like, eh, whatever. Might as well take it, right? That's kind of what conventions are all about, is getting stuff for free. If you can. If you can't, then won't. All right, I got my Cross Plus. I got this from a store in the mall, actually. This is not from the convention. Uh, this was $10, which is, which is funny, because I actually saw this at the convention. It was like $30 almost. Um, so don't do that. It's like $10. I think even online you can get this for around the same price, even maybe a little less. It is uh, the vol uh, parts one, two, through four. So volume two, one and two. This is the movies, by the way. I've seen the movies before, but I have not seen them in such a long time that I kind of want to see them again. So this is really cool. All right. So $10, not too bad. I spent a lot, by the way. If you, if you haven't figured that out yet, I spent a lot. All right. One of my favorite things I got at the convention was a little cloud figure. Oh, look at this thing. It's so adorable. It's got a little buster sword. It's got a little... You can see the little sign saying like, oh look, it's Midgar City, Calm, Chocobo Farm. You can pose them in different spots on the, with the little thing. This was $20, this wasn't uh, $28 actually, but one of the cool features, I'll show it to you really fast, and I do have to break this part for a second, but it's not a big deal, is that it also comes with another part you can do. It also comes with faces, but I didn't show you the faces, but you can also put them in a little motorcycle. It's got a little big head, he's riding his little motorcycle. I think that's so cool. I love clouds, so clouds awesome to me. One of my favorite Final Fantasy protagonists, to be honest with you. I know people always give me shit for that. It's like, oh, he's got no personality. Well, you know what? Half the characters in Final Fantasy don't have personality if you really think about it. Um, I feel I'm going to trigger so many people with that phrase. I really am. All right, uh, another statue I got, which, by the way, yes, I got a lot of statues. That's one of the things I got to put it back on the, the, uh, the stand because it fell off the stand somehow during me doing this, which kind of sucks. This is, I am sorry, by the way, wasting your time. You know what, I'm gonna show without this answer. it. This is Cinder from Ruby. Check it out, this thing's pretty cool. I got this for, I think, 20, uh, $30, I think. It was at the, also, Rooster Teeth booth. Um, it's been my, it's by McFarlane Toys. McFarlane Toys does some really nice details with their figures. And, I mean, I think this thing's badass. I really do. It comes with this nice stand you can put it on. It's, it's pretty simple if you actually were able to do it. I'm not doing it on camera because I'll probably fuck it up. But, anyways, yeah. Else should not occur in hindsight, but that's okay. All right, uh, I actually might be able to do this, this whole video a lot faster than I thought I would. All right, so my last day of the convention, I got several figures. Um, actually, well, more so, let me get, let me get the figures I got before the last day of the whole, or the last day of the convention. And I do apologize again for the, the uh, loud chair, but unfortunately, that's just what I, how it is. Can't really help it, help that. All right, so. I got, I'm not a huge fan of One Piece, mind you, but I do love this this statue so much. It's Nico from One Piece, or maybe someone else, and I hope it's not someone else. I think it's Nico uh, from One Piece. Her her character is absolutely gorgeous. She's one of my favorites from One Piece, honestly. At least from the games, because I do play the games. Um, oh, there you go. Let me see if I can put her back in better focus. Obviously, you see, see I'm not showing you under her skirt, you guys, you bunch of perverts. Uh, she comes with, her stand actually is pretty cool. Her stand is right there. You can actually see it. It actually helps her stand, it's pretty awesome. Uh, this was 30, 35, I think it was, and usually online it goes for about $30 to $35, so it wasn't too bad. This was the last one, so that was actually really cool about that. All right, next up on this thing is the figure I got on the last day of the convention. So this is from a contact collection. It took me a long time to figure that out. Uh, shout out to Gero the Hero for helping me figure out what this is from. 
But I saw this and I'm like, wow, the, the level of detail of this, this statue is really nice. I loved it. I had to get this immediately when I saw it. Um, what was funny though, there is a funny story associated with this where when I bought this, and not to tell us really fast, uh, I had seen it, the guy had said it was $30. And I'm like, okay, because it was the last day of the convention, so he wanted to sell it for cheaper. It's usually 35 he sold it for 30 And he couldn't find the box originally for it, so they gave it to me. They were going to give it to me for the uh, the one that was standing outside of the box for $25. So he started ringing up the process for it, and lo and behold, he actually did find the uh, a box version, brand new one. So I only ended up having to pay for this $25. So if you think about it, it's like $10 off. Uh, I've looked online, it's about the same price, so I got it really nicely for the same price, and that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. I love this figure, though. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the Kansai collection, they have some really cool statues, I won't lie. Alright, uh, one of the last statues I got, I did not get at Comic-Con. I actually got, this is my dad got for me. Uh, I got it from GameStop. It's Tokyo Ghoul. So Ken Kaneki, look at that. This thing is pretty badass, you can see his face. I like, I like, the, I like the amount of detail on this thing. And I love the back. I think that's really cool. It comes with a stand, but just fell off when I was holding this thing, so that's pretty awesome. But this was only, um, I think, I want to say $15 or $20 at GameStop. And I think this thing's kind of worth it. It's got a lot of detail for that. It's got removable heads. I don't have the other head on film. I'm not going to film it because that would take me too long to go get it. So, yeah. But, all right, moving on. So, the stuff I'm about to show you, I got in a random box. Um, it was a $60, no, it was a uh, $40 random box from Manga. And I'll tell you, I mean, for how much I got, manga-wise, for $40, it's not too bad. So, I got all of these different things. I'll try to show you guys one by one really fast. I actually might be able to make this whole, whole video a lot shorter than I thought it would be, which is I'm happy about. This is Vanguard. I, I've actually read some of Vanguard before. Not a huge fan of it, but it's not bad. I have no idea what this is. It's all dudes, though. It's scary to me, so I'm not going to read it. Um, <laughs> Lament of Lamb. Like, I might give these away, not not for example, like not for things, but I might give them away to like these places around me that you can give away books and stuff. So I might do that because I, I really don't want to keep a lot of these. I want to keep some of them, but not all of them. Um, but yeah, for for forty dollars for a random box, that's actually not too bad. All right, I also did one for anime too. Uh, this one, this one was kind of bad to be honest with you. So I'm not happy about this one because it's a it's actually a, you can tell it's a right stuff one. And I, listen, shout out to right stuff, but some of your mystery boxes are terrible. Um, yeah, all right. Some some of these things are good. Don't get me wrong, but I own most of these series except for this one. This is the only one I don't own. I own all of Steam Detective, which I mean I don't mind because my my collection is for Steam Detective is old, so it gives me a chance to replace it. But Haruhi, I own the whole series. I own Hironi. Oh, actually, I own this version of Hironi Kenshin. I own also this Mobi Mobius one. Uh, Morbito, excuse me. I own that too. So yeah, I'm not too happy. There you go. Sorry about that, folks. I'm not good at haul videos, are I? <laughs> I really am not. I'm sorry. All right, uh, I got obviously some anime to show you. I have also uh, some other DVDs to show you. I'm gonna start off with something that my dad also bought for me. Uh, he, I don't, you know, I, I wasn't gonna buy this originally, but he ended up buying it for me. I was really happy about this. Tomi Junji Ito, the actual whole series hardcover. This thing was so nice. I'm so happy to have this. Uh, I found this at a local bookstore that just opened up recently. They sell like books and, and other things too. Uh, it was like thirty dollars. I know you can probably get it for a little cheaper online, but you know at the time I won't. actually no, I think it's about like twenty eight online. So you really only can get a little cheaper. So I mean it's not not that much cheaper. But oh my god, Junji Ito, your stuff is incredible to me. I love your artwork. Look how creepy that is. Look at that. That's why Junji Ito is one of the masters of manga horror. To be honest with you, right there shows. I didn't even mean this to have that by the way. That just happened. That's awesome. Alright, in terms of other things, uh, let me show you the books I got first, and then I'll go into the anime slash Blu-rays and stuff like that. Alright, because I didn't, I didn't get any other manga besides the one I got in Rare Box. So this is the Jun, uh, Juni Tyson Zodiac Wars light novel. I didn't even know this came out in America. Uh, I got this at Barnes & Noble's also for about $15, I think, or no, $19, excuse me. Um, but I actually got it a little bit off, I think, because I got it the first day and I had a coupon, I believe. But I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's done by one of my favorite authors, Nision. I love his works. Nisiosin, I think is how you pronounce it. I always get his name wrong, so I do apologize by that. But oh my god, this thing is nice. Uh, I did like the artwork that you can see. I don't know if I could show any of the artwork. I'll try to find some of it. But some of the artwork is actually kind of cool. You see the character's art and stuff like that. 
I don't want to spoil anything because it does have spoilers in this, but it's really cool. Uh, it's not that long of a book, I'm surprised. I really am. Usually, you know, he does longer books, but I guess with this series, he really didn't need to do super long books for it. Uh, and I'm, I am watching the anime right now, but still. All right. Last book I got at the request of my <laughs> my editor who told me about this book, and it sounds really interesting. IQ84. Now, this book is very interesting. Apparently, it's like a, a post-apocalyptic type story. Uh, it's a little more than that. I, I don't want to go into details of explaining everything. It would take me like nine hours to do that, but it's very interesting. You can you can read probably from this right here. I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, I got this online for about $10, brand new. It look, doesn't look brand new, though, so I think that someone lied about that. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. You know, books, books when they're used, you can tell that they were loved, and that's kind of cool. At least... At least that they were used in a correct manner. That's what I should say. All right, Whew. man, I am like so out of breath. It's not I am rushing through this and I apologize guys, but I really don't want to have this to be like 90 minutes. Like I give some people credit if they really do long videos, but all right. So next up is Abunobashi DVD. I got this uh, last month. I love Abunobashi. You know, this is probably one of my favorite works. Um, I think the same people who do Fully Cooly. So if I'm not mistaken, but yes. If you've never heard of Abunobashi Shopping Arcade, this is probably one of the best random ass series you'll find. Gainax really does an incredible job with this series. And it's just, it, I got this for I think $14 during the Sentai uh, sale for DVDs. I think maybe a little less than that. This was worse, but this was worth it to me because this was going actually, if you go on Amazon, this was actually at one time $30. Uh, and sometimes even more in some places. But if you get the original version of this, it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing, but it's like more of a special edition of it. It's like sometimes $60, so I would recommend getting this version of it. All right, another thing I got there on the Sentai collection, I got this for $8, uh, Suke Hime. I've actually heard about this series before in the past, but I've never, ever watched it. And I know people flip out when I, when I hear about this, because, I mean, it's not a very popular series, mind you, but those that like vampire stuff will love this story from my here. And I am very looking forward to this, because I am actually going to watch this eventually when I get the time. Got this for eight, I think it was eight ninety nine. So that was during Sentai Collection. Sentai Collection had some good stuff on sale. All right, now then, let's go into the last couple of things I got. So many of you know that you follow me on Twitter. You know, I got Danganronpa, the the future arc or the end of Hope's Week High School future arc, and I also got the Despair arc. Now, I tell everyone that has not seen this series to watch these in unison. I know that sounds really fucking weird, I know. Excuse my language again, I, I should really stop cursing today, but I, I am unfortunately cursing. But, the, this one is technically where you should start. You should start with, you should, no, actually, I'm sorry. You should start with this one, episode one. If this is, if you're not new to Danganronpa, if you're new to Danganronpa, you have to watch either the first anime or play the game, at least. But, start with this one if you've already completed it. Watch this, this is the first episode of this one. And then switch back and forth. So watch this one next, then watch this one, then watch this one. There's a reason for that because they actually run almost kind of, I don't want to say parallel per se, but that's how they were aired. And the reason for that is because, yes, obviously from the Despair arc, it's supposed to be like the past arc. And this is what's happening in the future. So these characters have something to do with these characters. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it's very important to know. Now, I got this at the Funimation booth at Comic-Con. I got this for $55. Some of you might be flipping out because you could have got it cheaper, yes. But I wanted to pick it up day one, and I wanted to kind of support Funimation, so I went to the Funimation booth. I bought this for 55. Um, this, however, I, I got for 47 on Amazon. That's when it released. It was about that much online, so I was happy about that. So yeah, in total, you get both. I got both parts, and I'm super happy. I love Danganronpa, and yes, I beat the game recently. Amazing game. V3 was awesome. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the ending per se, and I think it's not the best one, mind you, but it's definitely one of the better ones of the series. All right, only two things left, and I'm surprised I was able to get this under 20 minutes so far. Well, probably after this, it will be a little past 20 minutes, but Jin Ro, The Wolf Brigade, from the creators of Ghost in the Shell. Now, I've seen this movie several times. I love this movie, but I've never owned it, and I wanted to own this for the longest time. I really did. So, I finally shelled it out. I, I think it was, what was funny was there was a booth that was selling this for $30 at the Comic-Con. And I'm like, I know for a fact I can go online and get this for like $20, maybe less than that. So I found another booth that sold it for $25, and I was able to kind of haggle with them. And I got this down just to, just to $25. Um, but the thing is, is that in comparison to that $30 one, come on, you can't, you can't, you can't beat that. 
Uh, if you've never seen this, this is probably one of, I think it's Production IG, or is it Production I hope it's Production IG. It's one of their early works. Um, it came out in 2000, I think 2001 maybe. But I consider this to be one of the better works. This is a great story. Some people might have issues with the kind of pacing it has and the ending is really messed up, but it's an awesome story and I love it. It's really cool. Definitely check it out. All right, and last thing I got was Psychic Wars. Uh, Psychic School Wars, excuse me. I got for this $24. You can buy this on, on Amazon. I know for like 18 but I saw it at the uh, the convention. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I, I, like, I do like folks. I buy some of the prices at, at the convention because it supports the people that sell it. I know it's like, oh, but they sell it for higher prices, but that's how they make a living, so I don't mind doing that. But, um, yes, I've heard very mixed things about this series. I heard that this is, or excuse me, this movie. I've heard it's beautiful, but it's also, like, super boring and super uh, confusing. But that's okay, because I like beautiful anime once in a while, so I was looking forward to watching this. But, yeah, um, I, can, I can legit show you everything I got, but that would be, like, more headache than anything else. Um, and it's now scattered about my uh, apartment. I'll tell you guys this right now. Uh, I got a lot of stuff, obviously, and I'm very happy. I'm very blessed for that. So, you know, I think that this is awesome. Um, I had actually been working last month kind of to get the means of making money enough that I can get a lot of stuff at the convention. And that was cool. And my dad, I know, helped me out a little bit with the stuff, and I, I do plan on paying it back for it. But, yeah, I, I think I got a nice haul. Um, it's all things considering. I, I spent a lot more money than I wanted to. But that's the whole point of a convention. You have fun, you can spend money, and you don't really supposed to, you're not supposed to feel the kind of repercussions because you're supposed to feel like you're supporting the convention goers and also just the convention hall in general and the artists, etc. So it was worth it to me. Um, yeah, so I thought this would be a lot longer, but hey, I got this under 22 minutes. I'm happy about that. I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, if you did, please share the video, like the video, make this so it's not something I just spent like hours doing and it's like, because I had to do this multiple takes. But yeah, help me out with this, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. Again, I'm sorry for the audio and maybe the loud noises you heard from my chair. It's kind of unfortunate, but that was the only way I could film this. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye.